Don't make the same mistake that I did. With Canvas Sheets, you don't have to use separate tools like Airtable, Google Sheets, or Excel to organize your data. Canvas Sheets is a visual first spreadsheet software built directly into Canva that helps you instantly visualize your data and leverages AI for efficiency. If you're ready to stop wasting valuable time learning how to create formulas to help you understand your data, you're going to love this tutorial. Without further ado, let's hop in. Now, before I hop into the overview, just remember that if you need access to Canva Pro, you can get it for free for 30 days by going to lashondabrown.com slash Canva. So the main features of Canva Sheets is it helps you to reimagine your content and make it more visual and powerful. So again, it's way more than a spreadsheet. It has AI built into it. So you can do some really incredible things to help save you time in your business. You can bulk create designs. You can scale your copy and localize it in seconds. You can resize designs in multiple formats at scale, which is going to be a huge time saver. Magic Insights is the built-in AI data analyzation tool, so you can uncover patterns and trends and key takeaways in a click. You can display the data with Magic Charts and develop formulas using AI with magic formulas. So with a simple prompt, you can generate the formula to help you to analyze your data. So that is a huge, huge benefit to putting your data directly into Canva. When you head over to Canva and select templates and then select sheets, it's going to give you a wide array of sheets to choose from. I think this is a great place for you to start because Canva itself and Canva creators will probably be using this feature completely different than you. So that way you can get ideas from other designers by starting with the template first, just like you would with a social media graphic. Just looking at the thumbnails themselves, I'm seeing that you can use Canva Sheets for a contact list, for a social media plan, for a lead tracker, an invoice tracker, a budget tracker. You can track your campaigns, you can make to-do lists. Practically speaking, how I'm using Canva right now is to keep track of my speaking engagements, where those things are in terms of scheduling and billing and all of that. I'm using it for my social media content calendar and I'm using it to manage projects with my brand partnerships. So I have Canva Sheets by themselves and I have them embedded within a campaign in one Canva project. So say for instance, you want to make a social media calendar directly in Canva. If we scroll down here, you'll see this option here to create a social media calendar sheet. There are others to choose from, but we're just going to say customize this template. This is going to open up the Canva sheet directly in Canva. Before you click on anything, I want you to get acclimated with the actual template itself and look at it from this perspective. What do you want to remove that is not relevant to how you want to use it? So say for instance, under content type, they have a static post, a photo, or a reel. There may be some other formats that you want to add there. So if you want to add an option, you can just click on add option. And maybe one of the content types you want to add is a carousel. So if I type that in and click on done, it's going to add it here. Now, this is an awesome feature. It says update nine similar dropdowns. So if you add an option to a dropdown in a column, Canva will prompt you to say, do you want to update the similar dropdowns? So you don't need to go one by one. Just click on that purple button. And now all of a sudden, this option for the carousel will be added to the other dropdowns. Now, of course, you can color code things to make it easier for you to tell the different dropdowns apart. You can click on edit if you need to rename things and the color will be located here. You can choose the color from the document, from your color palette that's uploaded to your brand kit or from the default solid colors. So we'll just make this one purple and go back here and now you can see that option is in purple. And we'll change them all there. So now carousel is featured here and it is in purple. So content type is something that I do want to keep. Now I'm looking at platform one and platform two. 
the options that they have are Instagram, X slash Twitter, and Facebook. I am not active on Facebook, so I can take that off. We can eliminate that. I'm also not active on Twitter. However, I am active on LinkedIn. So I'm just gonna rename that one. Finally, I do post obviously a lot on YouTube. So we'll add in YouTube. I don't like the fact that Instagram is that color because I don't think about coral or orange when I think about Instagram. So I'm gonna make that one purple and I'm going to make YouTube this red and apply it to the similar dropdowns. So that's going to update it in this column and in this one. Now, if I want to add another platform, because now I have three to select from, if I want to add another column to my Canvas sheet, I can just click on the column next to it and I can right click to reveal these options. So you can delete the column, delete the row or add a column and row. So I want to add a column to the right. And when I do that, it's going to add the column to the right. The beautiful thing is it brought over the drop downs. And so all I need to do is copy that text, paste it here and turn two to three. So some other options that you have with the different columns and canvas sheets is you can have a calendar. So again, if you are planning out your social content, you can select the date that you intend on actually publishing the content. If you connect your social platforms to Canva, you can actually publish directly through Canva or leverage a tool like Metricool to do the same thing as well and manage all of your comments from all your social media platforms in one place. I do have an affiliate link for Metric cool that I will also drop in the description of this video. Next, you can put in your published time and you can just type that in. And here's something that I love. You can drop in the visuals. So as you plan in your social content, I'm assuming there is content that you want to paste in. So whether it is a link to, say for instance, a Dropbox link with the video in it, or it is located in your Google Drive, or you created a Canva design that you wanna to link to, you can actually drop in images into your columns or rows and Canva sheets to help you to communicate your data, which is super helpful. In this case, they put in an image and they put in a hyperlink to the deck. So you can hyperlink text to any place you want it to go, just like you would in any other Canva design. I actually love using drop downs for status reports. So this is really helpful if you are managing a team. So here your different statuses are did not post and progress scheduled published. You can change this to what makes sense for your brand. But again, this is just a customization of the drop down feature and they added in little emojis to take it to the next level. So that's something that you can easily do to help you to customize your canvas sheet without having to spend a lot of effort into the design. Next, you have content theme. Maybe you say, you know what, the theme is good. The post objective is good. But what makes more sense for my brand is to simply say content pillars. So maybe you'll click on this column and you'll just delete the column. Maybe you'll click here and say instead content pillars. And then you update the drop downs for what makes sense for you. Now, when it is published, you can link to the post. And so that way you can keep track of your social media content. If you care to keep track of the engagement, you can add another column and you can do that. At the top, they obviously have social media calendar. And as you click on the columns, you're like, man, where do I go to actually edit that text? It's actually located in the very first column and the very first row, and they have merged these particular cells. So to merge the cells, you would just select it, right click on it and click on merge cells. So if you need that feature because you're trying to break up the data, that is how you would locate that. You can also sort your data, you can freeze the different rows and columns. And so that's something that you can play around with there. One of the things that you should be tracking in your business is your source of leads so that you can determine what things are getting a return on investment and what are some of the things that you can cut. Now you can do this directly in Canva using Canva Sheets and they have a lead tracker template and this is what it looks like. So at the top, it has lead name, it has email, phone number, company, last contact date, 
status, CRM link, source, industry, assigned salesperson, potential contract value, and on and on and on. Now, this is a much more formal way to track your leads. And just like we did in the other template, if there are some things like a CRM link that does not make sense for you, you can always delete, not that row, delete the column. If you mess up, just control Z. I really like the source column that they put into the lead tracker because this reminds folks to be on top of how did you get connected with them to begin with. I also love the fact that they want us to put in what is the value of this particular contract. So in my case, I was able to create a Canvas sheet for 2025 and I started to create one for 2026 that helped me easily see who did I speak for how did I get paid? What was the number one thing that people requested me to do? As I started to look at the data for 2025, I realized that most people connect with me because they want me to teach Canva, surprise, surprise. So what do I need to showcase on LinkedIn if I want more speaking engagements? I need to talk about Canva and I need to talk about my Canva speaking engagements. And so simply having that information in one sheet versus spread all across my inbox, it helped me to make informed decisions with how I market my business. And now I'm fully booked for Q1 with very little effort simply because I used a Canva sheet. So this is a very practical thing that you can do in your business. Again, you can also use it for managing projects. And in the previous video on the Visual Suite 2.0, I showed you how I manage campaigns and Canvas Sheets is a part of how I manage campaigns. So I really want you to start thinking about the fact that Canva is not necessarily getting away from being just a graphic design tool, but it really is trying to equip you to be excellent in so many different areas of your business while also leveraging the power of AI. If you want to leverage magic formulas within your Canvas Sheets, this is the best way for you to locate it. So in this case, what I want to know is how much money did I make in 2025? If we're gonna use this sample data, I simply want the sum of this column of my Canvas Sheets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that and in the top right hand corner, you will see the sum appears there. But if there are other things that I want to do with the data, I could simply highlight that column and click on Magic Insights. That is where I will ask a question through the prompt box and click on Generate for me to get the formula necessary to get the results that I need. I can also spot trends with the data by leveraging this. I could say create a chart for my data, summarize my data. Are there any outliers or anomalies? So if you want to analyze your data in Canvas Sheets, I would simply highlight that column of data, click on actions, and then type in your questions inside of Magic Insights. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you don't already have Canva Pro and you would like to get access to a free 30-day trial while supporting the channel, go to thashondabrown.com slash Canva. Now that you know how to use Canva Sheets, check out this tutorial to learn how to manage an entire campaign in one Canva project. Until next time, ta-ta for now.